your question. It's on. You're going to repeat your question. Okay, we're going to do that now. I'm going to introduce, this is Mont News, and you live here in Ithaca too? Uh-huh. Okay, and we're here as part, Peaches and Tommy are doing the interview, and we're, this is part of the 1,000 conversations for the Department of Sustainability. So the question that was framed from the Department of Sustainability was, if we can look 35 years down the line uh -huh. and the world is in better shape, uh -huh. every area of everything is in better shape, and you can focus on one or many. So the question becomes, how did we do that? What was the turning point, the collective turning point that made the world end up in this more positive position down the line? Hmm. And so that's our question to you. And hmm. it's right, you could wrap it in a fantasy, it doesn't have to be real, it could be from the heart, whatever you want to say. Uh, I think as a mom, I would say that it's lots of it would come back to kids focusing on them since to me they are future, mm -hmm. educating them, uh, investing or paying more attention to mental health, <laughs> um, and yeah. I think education. Yep, exactly. And what moved us in that direction? So fine, we all see it now. Mm -hmm. But suddenly we figured it out. What was it that we figured out that made us actually get there 35 uh -huh. years down the line? Like investing in education, I mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Putting more time, energy on that. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, honest conversations, yeah, yeah. media. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did we have to, did you think that we, do you feel like we had to hit a point of real crises before people realize, because, you know, we, we're in it right now, so, and we still haven't made changes, so did we hit some point of, like, we just saw that there was no other way to go, that we had to come together and really invest ourselves into our children so that they can create the future that we want down the line? I think we already have enough evidence to mm -hmm. see that what a mess we have made. <laughs> <laughs> <Definitely>. <laughs> yeah. And no thing that that's not right. Yes. And we should yes. stop it at some point. Yeah. It's already late to me. I don't know. <laughs> it's like that evidence has been out there for quite a while. Let's say it's just the environmental evidence. Mm -hmm. We know that we're, we're on a crash course. But that still doesn't seem to have changed our mm -hmm. policies. Uh, you know, our systems are still going on mm -hmm. business as usual, if you will. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, the, the question, like, what is the thing that would just flip it, would just Tipping turn it? Point. Yeah, exactly. Um, what that would be? Having more, I don't know. Trustful politicians, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so maybe there was a change in the in the real change in the people we elected. Uh huh. Yeah. That's yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The people who have more voice, like high, mm -hmm. like voice mm -hmm. power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and did we just get to the saturation point? Like where where no one could pretend that we didn't have to make change. Did we get to the point of saturation where where things were falling apart so much mm -hmm. that it that people saw very clearly how it was affecting everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All of us. Yeah. And different aspects and layers. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. All right. That's good. Would you like to tell us something about what you wish for the world? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. No. 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 Okay. You don't have to. Not more cookies. <laughs> <laughs> more sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> what can make the world a better place, Tim? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. What are you speaking? 
We speak Farsi or Persian or Iranian. Very nice, very sweet. <laughs> okay. Thank you.